Good evening. Tonight's program, we travel to Akron, Ohio at the turn of the century. The toy industry was booming, and Akron was the number one manufacturer of marbles across the nation. As the Industrial Revolution unfolded, the popularity of marbles was at its peak, and Akron's products were in high demand. Join us now as we take a journey to a time past. <music> The Industrial Revolution was in full swing and Akron was at the forefront. In the 1880s, the city became home to a number of companies who built factories used for the mass production of small penny toys. This included marbles. Marbles gained popularity as a form of cheap and, and fun entertainment for children. And times were hard for families, so these little marbles became like little balls of joy. In 1902, the American Marble and Toy Manufacturing Company was bought out by new management. Two eccentric entrepreneurs, Caspian and Jasper, bought the factory and started producing glass marbles instead of clay, and they were made by the millions. Over the next couple of years, production was exorbitant. They started producing marbles in all sorts of sizes and colors. And it was such a big part of Akron that folks unofficially started calling the city Marble Town. That's a true story. Meanwhile, half a world over, a discovery was being made that would change the world forever. In 1903, an archaeological team in Deir el-Bari, off the west bank of the Nile, uncovered the temple tomb of Mentuhotep II. There were a lot of groups combing that site, including some inordinate groups uh, outside of the standard universities. A tablet was found at the temple, dating back to about 2000 BCE. It was presumed at the time that the tablet was about ancient Egyptian entertainment. It depicted children playing with clay marbles and many other hieroglyphics that scholars could not decipher. In the days that followed, word of the tablet spread. One of the teams at the site, calling themselves the Time Police, uh, deciphered the tablet and let us know that it was actually about a story of two time-traveling bandits who were trapped in Akron, Ohio in the 20th century, and they needed to create fuel for their time ship, uh, and that fuel was marbles. The tablet illuminated the world to the reality of time travel. Time travel is possible by um, creating a rift in space-time. It generates a wormhole that uh, gaps two points together in the, uh, the same uh, instance. Caspian and Jasper were time bandits from the future and used the factory to produce thulium nitrate, the element needed to power their time engines. Probably creating thulium nitrate in a less than ideal setting is, uh, is very difficult, which is why the, uh, the time bandits went through so many uh, batches before they found the right one. The different variations of marbles were the byproduct of failed attempts at creating a refined enough form of thulium nitrate, which the bandits sold to finance their operations. Caspian and Jasper were uh, escaping from the time police and uh, entered into an anomalous space-time rift that uh, was created by a black hole. And this sent them into Akron in 1902. The time police, hot on their trail, you know, when they entered in the same time rift, ended up in Egypt in 1903, which of course is due to the variance of the turbulent nature of, uh, of uh, space-time rifts created by black holes. It's, it's, you know, high school science. It's like... The time police used the information from the tablet to find the time bandits, but when they arrived, they were too late. The time bandits started their engines, setting fire to the factory as they made their escape. This created a space-time rift that the, 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 the time bandits and the time police entered. Of course, this was after the, the epic uh, laser battle. <laughs> Caspian and Jasper slipped through the space-time rift, the people of Akron realized the need for their own Zeppelin to defend the city against future, future intrusions. Over the next 21 years, engineers worked tirelessly to outfit the airship with the state-of-the-art weaponry and surveillance equipment, and in 1925, the Goodyear blimp took to the skies where it remains to this day, ever ready to defend the city of Akron from any enemy, from any point in time. You know, now, now that I think about it, there was a TV show called Marble Town in the 80s, uh, had a really awesome theme song. It went, dun dun dun, dun Marble Town. Dun, dun dun No, wait, that was the A-Team. I swear, I, this, I, it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's, um, 
<laughs> you see, it's quite simple. The, uh, the time police, after catching the time bandits, the time police traveled back in time to, uh, to ancient Egypt in the year 2010 BCE, roughly. Okay, and they left the tablet for the Passos to find and discover in the 1900s. Make sense? Thank you for being a marble. No, no that's the Golden Girls. <laughs>